friends. This is Betsy Humphrey, and it's story time with Betsy Humphrey. That's me. Today we're going to be reading The Early Bird by Richard Scarry. This is another old book of mine. I hope you'll like it. The Early Bird by Richard Scarry. Here's a picture of him. Here it is again, The Early Bird by Richard Scarry. There's not an illustrator on this, so um, I'm sure you can tell if you're familiar with Richard Scarry that he also drew the pictures. Um, the morning sun peeked into Early Bird's window. Early Bird hopped out of bed. He went to the bathroom and washed his face. Early Bird brushed his beak and combed his feathers. He got dressed all by himself. He put on his blue sailor suit. Don't forget to pick up your pajamas, Early Bird. Just look at what Early Bird ate for breakfast. There's some eggs and a grapefruit and a cantaloupe and bread and butter. And Mom's making some sausage. She's cooking fruit. I don't know why. <laughs> Dad's having a hard-boiled egg. Looks like they've got something on the stove for lunch as well. Looks like a soup. After breakfast, Early Bird's mommy said, Why don't you go out and find a worm to play with? What is a worm? asked Early Bird. A worm is a little animal, said mommy. He lives in a hole in the ground and he wiggles a lot. Early Bird put on his hat and went out to find a worm. Early Bird saw a bug on a flower. Are you a worm, he said. No, said the bug, I'm a ladybug. I can fly and I can crawl, but I can't wiggle like a worm. chug a -room, said a fat fellow on a log. Are you a worm, asked Early Bird. No, I'm a frog, said the fellow. Worms wiggle and live in holes. I hop and this is where I live. He dove into the water and swam away. Early Bird walked through a field of flowers. He saw bugs buzzing and spiders spinning webs. He saw crickets chirping and grasshoppers hopping, but he didn't see anything that wiggled. And then he did see something wiggling. It was in a hole in the ground. He ran to the wiggling thing and pecked at it. Ouch, said the wiggly thing. I have found you, worm, said the early bird. I am not a worm, said Bunny Rabbit, as he climbed out of his hole. See, there's Bunny Rabbit. See, his nose is poking out of the hole. Worms are small and wiggle all over. I am bigger and only my nose wiggles. You go over to Farmer Cat's farm. Farmer Cat was plowing the field with his red tractor. Do you have a worm for me to play with, asked Early Bird. Look in my vegetable garden, said Farmer Cat. Sure enough, right on the edge of the garden was a hole, and sticking out of it was a wiggly thing, wiggling all over. Early Bird pecked at it with his beak. Hello, worm, he said. You mean hello, mouse tail, said Freddy Field Mouse. You should find out what a worm looks like before you go around pecking at things. Freddy scampered back down into his hole. Early Bird sat down and began to cry. What's the matter, said a funny fellow with a hat on. I need a worm to play with, and I can't find one anywhere, said Early Bird. Well, don't cry, said the fellow. There's a worm sticking out of a hole. You just hop over there and pull him out. Early Bird took the worm in his beak and pulled, but the worm wouldn't come out. You have to pull harder, said the funny fellow. Yes, but still the worm stayed stuck in his hole. Give a big pull, Early Bird. Pop! Out popped the worm. Why, it's you, said Early Bird. That's right, said the worm. My name is Wiggly Worm, and you have found me. Wiggly Worm wanted to play, but it was getting late. The sun was going down, and Early Bird had to hurry home for supper. But you can come with me, said Early Bird. We can play tomorrow. All the way home, Wiggly Worm and Early Bird played Jump Worm. They had a good supper of peas, corn, and potatoes. Wiggly Worm ate a lot of peas. 
Daddy gave Early Bird and Wiggly Worm a piggyback ride to the bathroom. Early Bird took his bath with a sailboat. Wiggly Worm took his bath with his hat on. Daddy read a bedtime story. Wiggly Worm went to bed with the flower in the flower pot. Good night, Wiggly Worm. Good night, Early Bird. And that's the end of Early Bird. Have you ever found a worm in your garden? I don't think you can play with it the same way, but they're sure fun to look for. I hope you'll join me next week for another story. Bye-bye.